Hi guys, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to do another easy build kit bed. These are pretty simple to put together, so they're very, very basic. It's not too extreme um, when it comes to skill or anything like that. It's actually really easy to do. And I've showed you a few of them already. The kits are going to be on the link below, so go ahead and click there if you guys are interested in getting the kit. And I do have other kits and stuff that are going to be a little bit harder to put together, but this one and the other beds in this series are pretty basic. So I'm going to go ahead and show you how to do it. First thing you need to do is you're going to need to get some wood glue and some super glue. I like this Loctite super glue. It just seems to hold. However, if you are using the Loctite super glue, when you are gluing it to this, it will stick instantly. So do not use it for the headboards. Otherwise, you won't have any play time. All right, the first thing you need to do is when you get your kit, you need to separate it. And there is a front and a back because it's printed on MDF with MDF printed wood. So you can see there's two like that and there's one with notches and there's one without. All right, if there is any burn marks on there from the laser, which is quite possible, you just wipe them off with a damp baby wipe. And as you can see, it would look like this. Okay, you should have a larger one and a smaller one. This is the headboard, this is gonna be the footboard. The first thing you need to do is you need to go ahead and get them glued together so they can be setting up. You can sandwich them together like that with both of the outside patterns on the outside. Then there should be a square up tool you want to go ahead and hold that in there and hold it straight. That way your headboard is even and you don't have any angles to it. Because if you have an angle, it's like if you did it like that and let it dry where it has an offset, it'll end up sitting crookedly. Once you have it like that, Go ahead and take some binder clips. I like those best because they clip very tightly. Resquare it up after you put the first one on there. Make sure nothing moved. Make sure your edges are together. All that is very, very important. And then you want to go through and you want to put some clips one here. Clip the legs together and then clip this center together right here. That way everything can set up together. Set it on the side and then you want to do the same exact thing to the footboard. Try not to get a glob to the edge like that. All right, again, make sure you have the wrong sides facing each other so the pattern is on the outside. You wanna go ahead and put it together. Do not use the crazy glue for this part because like I said, it will set up and then you will have a big problem. I'm holding it like this on the, the ground to make sure that it's even. Double check, make sure your feet are even as well. And 
And once you do that, then you can clamp them together. And then let that set up. Now you have the notches here that's going to be on the interior. Take your crazy glue. What I do is I put it in there and then I turn it upside down because I don't want it to drip on. The wood itself. Sometimes it needs to be cleared out. If it does, then you just stick a stick pen or something down in there to reopen that back up. Put some crazy glue on the edge of the notches that are on the side and there. So pattern is again on the outside. You want to go ahead and let that sit there and let it set up for a second. Should stick rather quickly now this part here you're gonna put a little bit of wood glue on it Then you're going to put it right in those notches. Now you're going to take your square up tool and you're going to hold it right there even with that. Make sure you got it pushed all the way in there. And let it set up. Then you want to add some glue right to the edge of this. Unclip your footboard and you are going to add some crazy glue inside of those holes and inside that notch. Now you're going to take this one and you're going to put the notches inside there. Move your side pieces out of the way. Hold that straight and then push your side pieces in place. Hold everything to where it's square. And just so you can see what I'm doing, I'm holding it like this. All right, let that set up. And then we'll do the bottom. Okay, now for the bottom, you're going to line an edge of glue right along that edge and right along the edge on the other side. Should make a nice bead of the glue going in like a bubble. Then you want to take these four pieces and you want to just slide them right in place with the corner being at the top. 
and then the other corner being at the bottom should leave a gap in the middle. Now you want to take some crazy glue and put it right there. And then I'm going to do a dot here and a dot here and a dot here. As well as I'm going to take the long skinny piece and I'm going to put a little bit of glue on it. Then that is going to sit right in the middle of everything. Now, to get rid of that glue that you don't want, you may use a wipe and wipe it off, wipe the excess away, or you can use something with a flat edge and you can scrape it off like that. the bed should be squared. So when you're holding it, the bottom should be touching and the side should be touching like that. It shouldn't be like this and it shouldn't be like that. It should be squared up. And that way the bed doesn't wobble and all four legs touch evenly. Now you'll just place your mattress and your bedding on top, or you could paint it. And then you could have two beds that's like little girly beds. I'm personally thinking I'm gonna do white, and I think I'm gonna go back and I'm gonna do another one of these with a little scroll design at the top, because I think that would look cool. But there you have it. Like, subscribe, leave a question, suggestion, or comment below. If you have anything that you would like to see me laser cut and turn into a kit, please list that below as well and um, give me your thoughts on the laser cut kits. Now keep in mind there are going to be more intricate designs coming as well and I'll post them on my website and in the storefronts as well because this set here and the other beds in this series are easy builds for people who've never built kits before. I'm trying to start you out gradually so you kind of get the hang of it and then we'll work into the other kits. Okay, just to give you an idea of what's coming, it's going to be a dresser that you will open and close. That's going to be one of the kits that will be available. And it may already be available by the time you see this. Some co hangers for inside your doll closets. These are all laser cut. Some toy boxes and a nightstand. and a little girl's bunk bed. A television. A cradle. another cradle those balances that you guys all loved in my Beacon Hill I'm gonna be selling those in different sizes a little cube shelf baby crib
my little fruit basket and vegetable basket. A toy box to go with your crib or your child's playroom. That actually opens and closes and you can put stuff in there. A different style toy box. A clock for on top of your fireplace. Some rabbit ears that will go with your television. Another crib. Very basic, simple. This will be one of the easy builds. You'll have some little trikes that you can choose from from some kits. Three wheels and four wheels. Have a little pool toy. All these are going to be on um, the store, and I'll leave the link to the store below. Now, this is some really small gingerbread, but those of you who break your gingerbread or want something better, I'm going to be offering gingerbread as well. That'll go around the outside of your house. Maybe some dolls, doll furniture. I'm not sure about that yet, but that may be on there. And most of all, my absolute favorite, the little toy wagon. Okay, and then here's the little beds. You've probably already seen this tutorial by now. Um, this bed actually goes together and it becomes a bunk, a wrong one. This bed and this bed actually goes together and it becomes a bunk bed. And then this bed is a single bed that is very similar to that one. Only difference is, is the headboard is taller. So you can't stack those. Just very basic builds for that. That's just like the easy builds that I'm working on so you guys can get that. And then there is other um, beds that are coming. So keep an eye out. Um, if you are not already following my Facebook page, as soon as I make something, I usually post it on there. So that way you'll get an idea of what is coming. It's Dollhouse Miniature Madness and Tutorials. And then um, I will see you soon. Leave a question, suggestion, and comment below. And Again, don't forget to post what, you're, what you want to do um, as far as ideas and stuff, and I'll see what I can do. All right. Thanks a lot. Have a wonderful day.